Welcome back to our channel. Today we are making a motion tracking video with GeoTracker in Blender. So, let's start the video. First of all you need Blender you can download it for free. And here you can see by pressing in, we have a GeoTracker tab. So you need to download it too for free, from the official website. After downloading, go to Edit tab, then select Preferences, and here click on Install, and select your downloaded file. Then you can turn it on from here, and the GeoTracker is installed and working. So, first of all press N to bring up this menu, and select GeoTracker tab. Then click on Create New GeoTracker. And now here in the clip section you have to select your background video for tracking. And then click on Analyze. And let it analyze the video forwards and backwards. So, the analysis process is completed. So now, we will take a cylinder object, by pressing Shift plus A, we can use it for tracking the round road area. Then, in the geometry section, select your cylinder object. Then, under Tracking section, click on Start Pin Code. This will trigger this wire mode for our object. Then, we have to transform it on our scene, by creating and dragging these dots. Use at least 4 or 5 dots for tracking perfectly. After completing, press this icon saying Track Forward. And you can see our object is tracking perfectly. Now, also track backwards. Now, go to Scene section, and select Position, then select Geometry. And change this from Custom to World Origin, and press OK. Now, you can see our object is properly aligned to the origin. Now, we have taken object for our scene. Let's take a statue. So, now we will use it for our scene. Transform it according to our scene. Now, you can see our object is perfectly aligned on the ground. Now we have do shading. So head to the shading tab from here. Here, change it from object to world. Here press shift plus A, and add an environment texture. Connect this to the color of the background. Now, we can see we have our dry environment in the background. Now, first of all go to Render Properties, and change the Render Engine to Cycles. To get the realistic shading and shadows in our scene. Now, in we have to add a plane for our shadows. Here you can see we have shadows now. Now, go to Shading tab again. Add a Texture Coordinate and Mapping tab here. Connect Generated to this vector. And this one to the this vector. Now we can change the shadow's direction according to our scene. 
Now we have to hide this plane, but not the shadow. So select the plane, and go to Object Properties. Here go to Visibility section, and turn on Shadow Catcher. Now you can see our plane is gone, but the shadow is still there. Now, go to the Compositing tab. Here turn on Use Nodes option. Here add a movie clip node and disconnect this. Now add a alpha over node and a viewer node. Connect these both to the image. and this one to the Composite and Viewer node. Now, here select your background clip that we are using. Now, we have to hide this environment. For that, go to Render Properties. Under Film section, turn on Transparency. And now you can see our statue is placed on the background with shadows also. Now we can see our tracking is fine. Now, you can render it by pressing F12 to see the final render result. Here you can see our render is perfect. Now, you can render the full video. Here in Output Properties, under Output section, Select the location for rendering. And here select the file format you want to export. For my case, I am using PNG image. So here, we have completed our motion tracking, hope you like it. Thanks for watching.